The one side of these brownies may or may not be burnt. I made the brownies and overall they're pretty good. I haven't made brownies in like several years though. And these ones, the amount of batter I made was just not enough and they ended up being really thin. Here they are. I put um, a few pieces of Hershey's Kisses on top so that's not like burnt. These little pieces, they're like cookies and cream Hershey's Kisses. So I'm putting them away and Keegan and I are currently having now. Keegan said that they are still nice and gooey in the center. I just finished working out. I'm trying to think of these at-home workouts as if I'm going to a group fitness class at my gym or something because that helps me because if I just have to work out by myself I'm not going to do it but if somebody is telling me what to do then I'll definitely do it and I've got like four or five favorite workout videos that I really really enjoy doing. By the way did I even start this vlog? I don't think I did. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to a new video. Um, it's just another sort of few days in my life it, during this lockdown. We are today, today we are in day 28 of our lockdown in South Africa. And yeah, pretty much not doing anything. Last night I made those brownies. They were a complete fail because as soon as they came out of the oven, they were still a bit fudgy and that was good. But I think I left them in too long because once they cooled down, they were like, rock hard so from now on i'm gonna call them brownie biscuits because they're like crunchy like that <laughs> they're not brownie form at all whatsoever somehow mentally working out inside is working out better for me than working out outside going outside into the grass and stuff just for some reason feels like much more of an effort so this is working out for me i need to go shower now and get on with my day quick question you guys <laughs> Have you been ironing your clothes since this lockdown? Just tell me, just be honest, you know, because where are you going? Who is going to see this crease other than your YouTube subscribers if you are me and you're going to post this on the internet? But really, like, is it that important? Like, let's just, let's just think about it, guys, and let me know in the comments, do you or have you been ironing your clothes? during this lockdown because clearly I haven't been <laughs> It's 1.30 now and I realized I started this vlog this morning because I am actually gonna attempt to make us some protective face masks because in the news they keep like rumor has it that we are going to have to wear fabric masks after the lockdown when we go out in public so I just wanted to start kind of like making my own right now my sewing machine is in underwear right now so this is probably going to take much longer than it really needs to but that's fine um, I know how to sew by hand I'm just going to do it that way I don't know I'm going to try to just do like one for me and one for Keegan right now. We'll see. I'm, I'm using a whole pillowcase because <laughs> I don't just have like fabric lying around over here since like I said I don't have my sewing machine but I'm just using a pillowcase that I have. It's black on one side and grey on the other side and I've already cut out a piece for my face mask so I think I might as well just cut out a few other pieces just so that I can make actually a few of them right now. Um, so the gray side is gonna be mine and then the black side is gonna be Keegan's.
Okay, I'm watching the video here. I'll put the link of this video in the description box in case you guys want to try this. But um, yeah, I've made majority of the mask. I've attached the little ear loops. Now all that's left is that I sew it together. I'm just gonna do these same steps on Keegan's one. And then I'm gonna sew both of them at the same time. And then I'll show you guys the end product. Guys, how insanely cute is that? That is my mask. And that's the inside, outside. And then you are supposed to put like a layer of some sort of filter on the inside. In this video, added a piece of gauze and we have a first aid kit. So I'm gonna take gauze out of there and put it in here. And what we're supposed to do is every time we wear it, come home, take the gauze out, dispose of it, and then throw this in the washing machine, and then it's reusable, and then you can just keep wearing it. So, I want to try it on. <laughs> oh, you guys, I love it. I love it. I think it's so... <gasps> guys, this is so cute. Look at how it opens up. This is so cute and it covers everywhere. Literally, it's, it covers everywhere. There's like no way where I feel like there's a gap. Can you see there? You can't see the smile, but I'm very chuffed. I'm very, very chuffed about this. Just finished Keegan's mask and guys, this is so therapeutic for me. I haven't sewn anything in the longest time and I really enjoyed doing this today. Um, but the only thing that I keep reminding myself of is if I had my sewing machine this would have taken me like a quarter of the time because it's just literally one line here and one line here but because I'm sewing by hand I'm like double stitching to make sure that everything like stays together and it's like secure so yeah this is Keegan's one I don't know if it's gonna fit you because I used bigger bands for you and yours is black and then you're supposed to pull it over like Your bands are too long. Now I think it'll be tighter than this, but better, hey? Then it'll be tight, like on the side. I don't know how I'm gonna make that smaller. Let's use elastic. I don't have elastic. How must I make this smaller now? Okay, so Keegan's mask is a little bit big for him, so I re-measured it. See, I needed to bring these two in a little bit more. What do you think of your mask? I am proud of it. Okay. <laughs> do you like it? Yeah. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Currently just sat down to drink my afternoon coffee. Decaf. And Keegan just told me, quick update on the brownies. He had one earlier, but what he did was he put it in the microwave. These are the brownies I made last night. He put it in the microwave. And he said when it came out of the microwave, it was still fudgy and warm on the inside. So I just stuck mine in the microwave for like 30 seconds and I'm going to test that theory. Mmm. Yes. Fudgy. Perfect. Oh my gosh. So good. I'm glad I don't have to call them brownie biscuits anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna finish eating this. I'm just uploading a vlog now. And then I also need to edit my travel tag video. I've been sitting in front of the laptop the entire day today and I've done barely anything on it, like seriously. But on the plus side, I made two face masks. And I made, what else did I make? I don't even know what else I made, but oh, I worked out. I think that's what else I did. <laughs> and I worked out, so I feel like all things considered, it was a pretty good day. Thank you guys so much for making masks with me, for working out with me, just for spending the day with me today. I enjoyed it. It was one of the better days of this lockdown, I would say. I'm going to say goodbye now. I'll see you guys on the next video. Please don't forget to spread good vibes and be kind. Bye-bye.